Well, we're on Valley Creek today. We're gonna do an overnight trip. We're at our, uh, we've been in, hitting rapids all day. And this one's a pretty good drop. You got about a foot and a half drop. It is March 5th or 6th today. It's a little chilly, so we don't wanna be in the water if we don't have to be. We got four people in kayaks and we've got one in a canoe. The canoe's been kicking our butt so far. Let's see how he does. I mean, that's about a foot and a half drop, so it's a lot bigger than what it looks. Let's see how he does. There we go. Hung up just a little bit. You got it. There we go. Good stuff, guys. We actually ran across a railroad trestle earlier that would look like it was from the early, early 1900s. I'll probably bring my metal detector back here and uh, hit it during the summer. Uh, this being a wintertime trip, uh, we're just trying to be sure that uh, we stay as dry as possible. I'll have to say that I'm wet from the waist down right now, but we got some dry bags. I'm actually using uh, two dry bags, a 20 liter and a 10 liter, and I am running a Perception Ascend kayak. It's 11 and a half foot. Uh, it seems to do the job really well. So I'm going to pause out and I'll keep you all posted on how we do. Uh, this isn't really metal detecting or bottle digging, but it's, it's definitely entertaining to watch anyways. This is Valley Creek. We come in from Bessemer, Alabama, and we're heading from Powder Plant Road to Lock 17 Road. So I'll get back with y'all. Zach's about to take his uh, his brother-in-law's kayak down this rapid right here. This ought to be interesting. The kayak's only a 10-footer, and it's riding very low. So let's see how it goes. Sorry about the camera being rocky, but I'm floating out here, and it's hard to keep it steady. He's hung on a couple of rocks. There we go. Here we go. About to get real. He's either going over or he's going to make it. There we go. It's a lot of bluffs out here on uh, both sides. This is a power line road coming in, so you can see it a little better. But we've uh, we have got about two miles to where we're going to set up camp. We've done this trip once before, and we found a really nice camping spot. We're going to try to get to it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll be there in about an hour, and I'll try to show you all a video of it. We're at our next set of rapids. This is from the top side. You go ahead, Nate. Sure? Yep. Okay. Let me try. <laughs> there we go. You can tell we're loaded down for the night. He's got a dry pack in the back. Got his backpack in the front. We got a spare change of clothes, shoes, wool socks, the whole nine yards tonight. It's supposed to be about 29 degrees, I believe. So it'll be good and chilly. There we go. No problems. It's all about planning your entrance on these things. If you don't have a good good line you're gonna screw up and i have screwed up all day long so i am wet and i am starting to get cold because it's about 3 p.m right now so <laughs> we got to make camp in the next hour there comes zach let's we'll see what you got zach yeah we'll probably drowned on this one <laughs> uh there we go look how low he's riding in the back <laughs> There we go. Got it. No problem. We'll get back with you whenever we're at camp. This area of valley is where the tornado went across a few years ago. And you can tell the trees haven't grown back on either side. It's sad. It's just not very pretty right through here. But in about a mile, it picks back up and it looks very nice. Starting to come down the river. We got two guys back behind us on some rapids. They're a little ways back. They'll catch up in a minute though. Pick back up with y'all. We got two wood ducks we've been chasing all day long. It's been an 18 and a half mile trip and these two guys right here have been with us the entire way. Every time we get close to them they fly in the next bend in front of us and uh, after that they land again and we catch them again every time. <laughs> Poor guys.